What's up guys? I'm gonna bring you along today for my fun little shoot I'm doing with Abercrombie. I haven't vlogged yet on my channel. I do a lot of clothing hauls and you guys have been requesting some different kind of content. So I'm happy to be switching it up a little bit today. I did wake up pretty early and hit the gym already. So I just packed, um, got ready for the day, put on some makeup, did my hair, prepared for the shoot. I have quite the drive. So um, all the students Studios near me were pretty booked. So I'm going all the way back to Lansing. I've shot there before at a studio there. I really liked it. So I'm just going to go ahead and I booked there yesterday. They had an opening for today. It's a little last minute. So I have to get all this content turned in by tonight. And we have like a winter storm warning. So of course that would happen today. I have to drive two hours through the yucky roads and all that fun stuff. So. Just adds on more stress. Let me show you outside. There was no snow when I woke up this morning and now it's really, really coming down. This is uh, what we're working with. Sorry if you hear upstairs. Chase is on a Zoom call with a client, but yeah, there was no snow earlier today. Now we're just getting hit pretty hard. Hopefully the roads won't be too, too bad, but we will see, I guess. So yeah, about to go hit the road. Come on. All right, come on. All right, I got my bags. I just gotta bring them to the car. I know, girl. You're wondering where I'm going. I wish you could come with me. All right, bags are packed. Go, bud, go. <laughs> oh my God. All right, bags are packed, and wow, that's a close call. About to hit the road. I'm so sorry, guys. I don't want to leave you, and it's going to be for a long time. I hate leaving them. It's like the worst thing in the world. Yeah, so I think I have everything packed. I cannot forget anything because it's too far of a drive. There's no turning around. You get like a little bit of booked time. So hopefully I have everything. She's like, don't leave me. Please don't leave me. Oh, I feel so bad. All right, guys, I gotta go take on these roads, so I'm just not wanting to. Let's go do it. I love you, girl. I'll be back soon, okay? Look at how sad she is. Go, go lay up on the couch with dad. Go, go, girl. She's locking the door. Girl, I'll be back soon, okay? Enjoy some rest, get some rest, love you. I love you, baby. I'll be back. You be a good girl, I'll be back. Oh, the hardest goodbye for me, always. Let's go do this photo shoot. Studio. I could do it outside. It is snowing, so the photos would probably look terrible. I could do it in my apartment, but I always like to go above and beyond for these brands. So you're gonna be at like a weird angle. Just have that set up. But I always like to go above and beyond for these brands, just because it kind of reflects who you are, you know, and the work you do. So I will always book a studio in the winter. Summertime is very different. You can go outside and it's easier. Um, I have to change into so many different outfits, so um, I don't want to do that in my car or be in the cold, so this is my best option. Hopefully the roads are not too bad. It's going to suck if they are. Oh, plow truck is going by now. Okay. Please, please, please let the roads be okay. All right, I'm trying to make sure I have everything. Suitcase, all the outfits, shoes, accessories, tripod, phone, charger. Yeah, I think I'm good. If I forget anything, I am screwed. Wow, I cannot believe how much snow we got in this short period of time. At the light. Holy smokes. 
left extra early just in case the roads were bad. So, worst case scenario, I have to just work in my car for about 15, 20 minutes before going inside. Here's what we're working with, guys. Hopefully the highway is a little bit less slick. I'm gonna focus on driving, so I'll see you guys when I get there. I'll show you like the studio space and everything. It's really cute. You're in the camera view, so I gotta move you to over here. Okay, I didn't really have time to show you around why I was coming up because I was running behind and there's somebody coming right after me. So I have to be on time. I'm going to quickly clean up. Um, I'll show you the room right now, but it is literally a complete mess. Great lighting coming from all these windows, but I only like to take photos in one spot over here. So that kind of sucks. They're all gonna look the same. The lighting was just off everywhere else besides right here. Even by the couch because I couldn't shoot this way because of the bathroom. But it is such a cute space. If I had like a real photographer and not using like my phone and tripod, it would work out perfect. And I could bring in ring lights and stuff. But I wish I could shoot this way. But I obviously can't because of the lighting because this would have been a cute area. And then they have like this board. But let me quickly um, put everything back because I gotta get out of here and pack up my suitcase and all that fun stuff. So, I'm gonna move around everything real fast. This is my Indian Media photographer, by the way. And I have a face tracker on, so you're gonna be like whirling and twirling. So sorry if you get dizzy. I have to remember where everything is. close to where it needs to be. I think that's truly all that matters. This board is probably painted red for Valentine's Day. I don't think I moved anything else around, so let's do this. Let me quickly pack everything. I think I'm just gonna keep this outfit on. they do I should show you the bathroom it's kind of a mess because of me right now they at least have a full body mirror to see your outfits before you get dressed and it's pretty clean um, I'll tell you about the pros and cons to this place once I get out of here um, I'd hate to keep people waiting on me so I don't want to get a bad review for being late so yeah, um, let me pack up real fast and we'll chat. So a couple pros and cons to this place. I think it's decently priced for the area and like what it is, but I will say it's, they. I think they grow weed in here because it just smells so bad. And then when you leave, you're gonna smell like weed and all your stuff smells like weed. So it's not like really ideal if you have to go somewhere after this. So that kind of sucks. Um, like the inside's super nice, you feel safe, but like it's it's kind of in a weird location. Like I, I got my microblading done in this, what is this, like a factory or, I don't even know what this is, but it's like behind um, some like, I don't know, road, where they hold like the salt and signs and do like all the road work stuff. I don't know, I'll show you when I leave. It's just kind of like an odd location. If I didn't come and get my eyebrows done here, I wouldn't have felt comfortable, but I already knew the place. But when I first came here to get my eyebrows done, I just felt like, what the heck is this place? So when you come here, like keep that in mind. Everything's cool, it's just odd location.
It's cute. But then you just come through these doors. All right, I'm back in my car. I reek like weed. So I really don't want to stop at my parents after this. I don't even think I'd have time anyway. It's a two hour drive home. I gotta go park at like a McDonald's and find some Wi-Fi and get these photos uploaded into a doc and edit some videos for them. Send it over. Everything's due by the end of the day. Normally I'm not last minute with this stuff, but I couldn't book a studio until last minute. So we're a little behind. I hate like being behind. It gives me anxiety and I just feel like it's unprofessional if you turn things in last minute. So I always like to do mine like a week in advance, but it didn't work out that way. So I gotta hurry to some Wi-Fi, send everything over, make a two hour drive home and work on emails and the rest of my stuff at home so very behind today very hectic glad the shooting's done and over with I was stressing that so now I just gotta get everything turned in I guess we'll end the vlog here with unboxing my Valentine's present from Skims. On her story, it said she sent out 200 of these to her best, most supportive customers. So I'm so happy I got one, and I guess that means I shop there a ton, I guess. Um, but this is the outside of it. So pretty. Kind of gives, like, grandma vibes, but it is stunning. And let's see what's inside. Maybe I'll do a try on haul in a separate video, but I have to get some more work done first, so we'll save that later. It's so sweet. Weird angle, I know, but I got this little bra. I don't think this is gonna fit me. There's like no coverage, but we'll see. I love this material, super nice. And then a matching underwear. These will at least fit. I love her underwear. They're so stretchy. I actually already have this, but it's good to have doubles because it's always in dirty laundry. I love the sugar plum color. I got it in like the full lounge set and I loved it. And I wear it all the time. Came up with the matching biker shorts and oh, a dress. I only have one of her dresses, so this will be super cute for summer. Again, I'll do a try and haul. I know I'm just kind of randomly ending the vlog here, but I do want to show you one last thing. I just got this bed delivered today. Don't mind the messy bedding. We just kind of threw it on there. We're, we just have a super busy day. My couch, half of my couch just got delivered, so it is just hectic. The dog's gonna go outside and we will end it here say bye guys we will see you in the next youtube video <laughs> it's even a mess out here all right guys i'll see you later